So natural language processing, or NLP in short, is a computational technique to analyze and synthesize natural language. In classical NLP, every word is treated as independent tokens. For example, dog and chihuahua are treated as unrelated tokens. The breakthrough here is you can now use deep learning to map each word into a vector. So now in this vector space, dog and chihuahua actually get closer compared to dog and car. And all the words will map to the same vector space. And more interestingly, a pairwise relationship of words could also be encoded in this vector space. For example, you can take DC subtract USA. You get a very similar vector compared to Tokyo and subtract Japan because they are capital and country relationships. And deep learning learned this basically very similar to a native speaker who learn language by reading a lot of text. Unlike secondary language speaker will need to look up dictionaries. So it's a very natural way for deep learning to learn language. And finally, with this word vector, the performance of a lot of NLP tasks actually improved significantly. So one could actually already use the word vector for keyword-based marketing. Before this breakthrough, marketers usually need to enumerate a large list of target keywords. However, now, marketers just need to give AI a few seeds, and then in the vector space, each seed will find similar keywords and use it automatically. And secondly, using word vector, the performance of sentiment analysis also significantly improved, which means you could also figure out the positive and negative meanings of each user regarding to those keywords. So deep learning actually also enable AI to generate sentences or paragraphs. Although right now, it is still a little bit hard to fully control the generated text and especially the quality of the generated text decreased as the length of the paragraph increased. But many researchers are working in this direction. We are all trying to improve the controllability of generated content regarding to the theme, the style, and the length. So in the future, you can imagine people can take those tools and automatically generate a paragraph with the specific themes and style, and you can do this to very fastly generate a whole article.